Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you are you able to give me your name? I'm operator twenty. Okay. I have a question. If police repeatedly keep on uh, tampering with evidence and uh, multiple different assaults like 21, um, what, uh, what direction do I take to get them consequences? And then uh, massive, what kind of direction do I take? A massive amount of corruption deprived of my constitutional right to go to court on these false well, arrests? I, mean, I, can, I can send you up to our uh, call intake and you can file a report, ma'am. Okay, well, can you give me the consequences? Can you let me know what kind of crimes those are? Calling the FBI? Well, I mean, you said corruption, so that's one of the crimes. Okay, so what, um, do they get charged with tampering with evidence? What other kind of charges is it? If they... I mean, that's up, to the, that's up to the agent and what he determines on the information that you provide. I'm sorry? I can't, I can't tell you what they are. It would be up to what information that you provide and the report. This is the FBI? What the agent what the agent what, uh, how do I get in witness protection? I'm sorry? How do you I would get... have to have an investigation. I'm sorry? You would have to have an investigation open before you could go into the victim witness, ma'am. Oh, okay. So let me make sure I understand. Uh, so if I'm getting violated by the police department and targeted, I can't get protection, period, until they investigate themselves? Well, from us, ma'am, you would have to have an investigation going on. Okay, so I'm just trying to get clarity because I got handcuffed when I tried to come get in person to get clarity. That's not working. And the other time they tried to force me to call a number on my phone actively at the FBI. Well, yeah, because we don't take walk-ins, ma'am. I'm, I'm not, uh, you're not concerned about someone having 21 false arrests and depriving their constitutional right to go to court and being targeted? Yeah, have a good day.